basically how we ended up uh, with the Third Army. And then when we landed in, in Normandy, the uh, General Koenig of the French Army mm -hmm. was appointed the coordinator of all special activities in France. Well, the First Army turned it all over, well, Bradley turned it all over to Patton to do all the coordination. And that's the we reason that Sam and that unit didn't get involved too much, the way we got involved with Patton's Army. Now, now the, the special forces group that we had, that Third Army, where there were two, two sections, Special Forces Detachment Number 11 was the operational section. The other section was the intelligence section. And they gathered in intelligence from agents, secret agents, you see. Ours was to coordinate the activities between the operational groups, the operational units, and the French underground as they went along. Right. And that's what our group did. And you landed at Utah? You we said? landed at Utah Bleak Beach. We went through St. Mary's Bleak. What, what did that, uh, what, what, did, what was that seem like when y'all pulled up? Uh, on July the 17th, it was still a holy disaster. Uh, and as well as five, was this five? <laughs> and I am excited to interview him. And what's the date? August 3rd, right? 2019. 2019. Okay. So why don't you ask him a couple questions? How were you recruited uh, into the U.S. Army, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how was it recruited into what? Uh, the Army, or uh, as a spy. How were you recruited as a spy? She wants to know how you were recruited. How I did what? How you were recruited. How I was a student? Recruited. A recruiter? By the OSS. Oh, I was recruited by OSS. Where you speak, read, and write French. That's number one. And the minute you do that, you get a call. And they recruit you to come over and uh, talk to them. And the first thing you know, they say, we're going to recruit you, and you're going to go to, to next to in, next to Washington, D.C. And you're going to be in this place, and if they like you, they're going to keep you. They like me. <laughs> I ended up in China. I ended up in France. And I ended up in England. But England and France, I worked together. Then, I, then after I come out of that, I went to China and served there. Uh, another question is, um, how did you get to France? Like, what kind how of? Did I get to there? France? Yes. Cross, crossed the, the pond and got on, got into France. A big pirogue. <laughs> um, uh, what exactly did you do as a spy? Huh? What exactly did you do as your spy? Like, what, what was your job? As a spy, it was my my job to. Take the uh, everything that was done by, by by the Third Army. I had to coordinate it with the underground. The Third Army. You know who that is, huh? Not really. General Patton's army. You know Patton's oh. army? Yes. Okay. What? Well, it was my job. Whatever he was attacking something to make sure that the underground was supporting him. Okay? Okay. When he says the underground, he means the, the French underground, the French resistance, because the, the Germans had taken over. Right. Yeah. With the French underground. And then when I got through there, they sent me to China. And I was going to do the same thing in China, but they changed their minds. It did something else. Nothing. Um, uh, Ask him what was the OSS? What was the OSS? Uh -huh. What was the OSS? Where's the oil? Uh, no, OSS, what is it? OSS, Office of Strategic Services. Uh, what did they do? Office of Strategic Services. 
we, that was what it was called. But our job was to make sure that everything that the Army was doing, we got some underground people to do it for. I think that's all my questions. Very good. That's everything I wanted to know. Why don't you ask him one more question? Ask him what award he received last year. What award did you uh, receive last year? What, what award did I receive over there? Mm -hmm. You see one up there? Again? You see all of those on the wall here? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All of those.